where do we stand with the POT symptoms two weeks after graduating the TRANSFORM program? I have no tachycardia. None. <laughs> None. None. I'm jumping around, dancing. Hi everyone, I'm Anna Manuel. I'm the co-host of Transform Table Talk Live alongside Dr. Maggie Yu. Today, we have a great interview for you with Sky, who is a very recent graduate of the Transform program. She just graduated two weeks ago. And wait until you see her dramatic health turnaround because Sky was dealing with severe POTS symptoms. I'm talking about she was collapsing on a weekly basis, sometimes more, and occasionally losing consciousness. She was landing in the ER, in the hospital, not getting any answers, being shuffled around from doctor to doctor, of course, sent to a cardiologist because that's so often what happens, but yet the cardiologist really wasn't the one who could help her, right? because it's not a heart problem at its core. So she was desperate to find out well, what is the root cause of this and how do I fix it? That's when her mom actually came across the Transform program and they took that leap of faith and said, this has to be it. This has to be the answer to turn my life around and actually get my life back. I can't wait for you to hear Sky's story. All right, Sky, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Sky. I'm a photographer from Manchester. And you have been, that's a hands-on job. <laughs> you were yeah. telling me to be a photographer. I'm sure sometimes you're getting down. It's all kinds of angles. Um, mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit more about what kind of work you were doing. I was in shooting in the studio. So shooting all like the fashion line. It was really fun, but my pots got in the way a lot. So I started to not be able to shoot. And I could, my tachycardia was so bad when I would shoot that I could feel my heart rate around 200 every time that I was trying to shoot. Okay. And all Let's stop shoot. right there and just explain for people what you said, POTS. Some people might not know what that is. So for anybody who doesn't, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. It's a lot of words. It's big words. But basically what it means is your heart was racing at times. You yeah. were feeling dizzy. Talk to me about what those symptoms were. They were really, really scary because I would feel shaky. I would feel like I had no balance at all. My heart rate, I could feel it going up and up and up and up. And I just didn't know how up it was going to go. And I could see it 120, 160, one, you know, 200. And it is terrifying because you lose your balance. You you start to become very disorientated, not being able to know what's going on. Sometimes feeling like the lights are too bright, feeling like the noise is too loud. Like your body literally feels like it's in shock mode and it's panicking and you don't know how to get out of it when you're in those situations. It's like, oh my gosh, what's going on? It's, it's so scary. It is so scary. And in some cases you did actually collapse. Yeah, multiple times. What happened? Sometimes it was after food. I'd feel the tachycardia start to get worse and worse and worse. And sometimes I didn't know if I was going to collapse or I was just going to be able to basically try and suppress it the whole day. But sometimes it would get to a point where my body was shaking so much. My heart was going so fast that I would eventually collapse to the floor and not be able to move. And lying on the floor not being able to know when am I going to be able to get back up I live on my own so it was a terrifying experience and feeling like I had to ask people to come around and check or be on the phone to someone all the time I have the phone in my hand because what if I collapse it's a terrifying experience especially when you have no idea what's going on you have no idea. I can relate. I dealt with POTS-like symptoms myself. And I remember going to my front door and unlocking the front door and telling my mom or whoever I was on the phone with, hey, if I pass out, call 911 and make sure they can get into my house. How scary. I mean, that's the same kinds of things that you were going through. Yeah, exactly. And I would collapse and I would go into hospital and they'd literally say, here she is again, because it was a day by day process of me going back in. And they kept on saying, there's nothing we can do for you. This is just the way it is. What me. were they saying was wrong? They were checking your heart and saying, oh, well, your heart looks fine. Or what was going on? They were kind of just saying, look, we don't really know what to do with you. And then I, they, I remember say, saying to someone like, I do have POTS. And um, the doctor came back and said, I'm going to be fully honest with you. I have no idea what this is. So I just oh. went and Googled it. 
So, you know, the best thing I'm thinking is maybe we can get you some beta blockers or something to calm your heart rate down. And I had to explain that wouldn't be an option for me because my heart rate would also go too low. You know, it's about both extremes as well. And even if it was suppressing that symptom, which a lot of the time it doesn't for people, it's the flip side of what other problems is that going to cause? And we're also not getting to the main issue of where is this coming from? Why is it happening? Yeah. Hi, I'm Meg UMD, and I'm a functional and holistic medicine physician and the creator of the Transform and Transform Protocol. If you're interested in learning what are the root causes of all chronic disease, go ahead and click the link in the description where I have a power pack 30 minute training that goes over what are the five pillars of transform. Go ahead, click the link, and I'll see you in that training. And to hear the doctor say, well, actually, I'm not that familiar with this. I had to go look it up. That experience of being more knowledgeable than the physicians yeah. had to be both frustrating and scary. It is. Yeah, it is when you're in the position of telling everyone else this is what's going on and they're still coming back to you and saying, we don't really know what to do about this. You're, this is just the way it is. And this is just the way it is was a statement that I couldn't live with because I couldn't keep collapsing the rest of my life. Well, and so living in that anxiety of never knowing when it was going to happen, if it was a daily occurrence, if it was going to be a biweekly occurrence, when was this going to happen and how could you live your life this way? And in fact, it did impact your work, right? You had to stop working, alter yep. your work schedule. Tell me about that. Yep. I had to take extended periods of time back home where I could be looked after because when my pots would sometimes get that bad, I couldn't walk. I would have to stay in bed and basically do nothing. So there's no way I could have gone into a studio and tried to do a photo shoot because I could barely lift myself up. So it's really impacted my work life. And I, I got to the point where I was about to quit my job because I thought I can't do this anymore, this in and out and everything. You know, I want to be 100% for someone, but I can't do that now. So I was about to quit and move home into full-time care with my family and leave what I love, which is photography. And then I found the program. Oh, okay, we'll get to that in just a moment. I first want to find out, you told the ER doctors, I have POTS. Was that self-diagnosed or did a doctor eventually at some point diagnose you with POTS? No, I was very lucky, very lucky that the cardiologist I saw, he worked very closely with a POTS specialist. Ah. So he knew what all the pot symptoms were and said, basically the first time meeting him, he was like, without a doubt, you have pots. But I was very lucky in that circumstance to actually be able to find out because a lot of people don't. A lot of people never get the answer. And you went to the heart doctor because you knew you were having some heart problems. And yet when you hear pots, it has that word tachycardia in it. You think a cardiologist could help with pots. But in fact, was the cardiologist able to provide you with any real help when it comes to your symptoms? No. Wow. No. So because it's not really a heart problem here that you're dealing with, mm -hmm. there are other factors at play and you were trying to find those answers and figure out why was this happening? This was going on and you were trying to get answers and dealing with these symptoms for how long? Two years. Two years. And yeah. then you finally came across the transform program. I want to hear how you came about that. So my mom actually sent me a link to a video just like this one, <laughs> Maggie had done with someone in the program and she had POTS and she was talking about blood sugar and all these different things. And I was thinking, hmm, that sounds like me. And my mom, when she sent it to me, she went, this girl's exactly like you. And it was like, oh my gosh, there, it's someone like me. And, and she's explaining why she's like that. And it was, a, it was like a, a whoa moment, but I was still thinking, you know, could that ever be me? Could could that ever be me? I didn't I didn't believe it at that point. And you were thinking to yourself, wow, in the state that I'm living right now, where I'm collapsing and I'm having so much trouble and no doctor is able to help me, could I really be that success story also? You were unsure. Yeah, I was completely unsure. And I think when doctors and healthcare professionals have told you for years, you know, you're just being dramatic or there's nothing wrong with you or we can't do anything for you you start to believe that yourself and let go of that fight you have of, I, I want to get better, I want to find answers. It kind of, after a while, wears you down. So, I mean, I was really lucky that it didn't stop me going through the program, but I definitely had those thoughts of like, you know, could that, could that be me, you know? 
but luckily here, here I am now. <laughs> I know you seem great. So I want to hear how are you doing? I mean, you went from passing out. How many times a week would you say you were collapsing? Was this like almost once a week this was happening? I've had weeks where it's once or I've had weeks where it's like four or five. Okay. But safe to say you were experiencing these pot symptoms and, you know, the shaking, the dizziness, the high yeah. heart rate, the low heart rate, all of that was happening on a constant basis. Constant. Okay. Constant. Well, you're sitting here and you're talking to me great right now. So I want to hear, where do we stand with the pot symptoms today, two weeks after graduating the transform program? I feel so good. I have no tachycardia. None. <laughs> none. 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 And none. that is when you're standing up fast, nothing. No, I'm jumping around, dancing. <laughs> like there is no tachycardia and that's amazing. And I don't feel like I'm living in a state of constant fear. Mm. That's completely gone. I was terrified to go out and do normal things. And I remember the other day I was just food shopping and going about my life. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, there were times when I couldn't even go out, let alone if I was in a shop, I'd have to have headphones on, you know, glasses on, really try and desensitize myself from everything because everything was scary. And now I'm dancing around, you know, going out with friends and I feel like I've got my life back. <sighs> Carefree, the life that you were longing for, that you had lost. Yeah. Back. And maybe it sounds like even better because you have this newfound appreciation for how yeah. precious this is and how wonderful it feels to feel well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So other than could this be me? Could I actually be somebody who is helped by this program? Did you have any other reservations about joining the transform program? I didn't know if I was well enough. And I think that's it's really interesting when I think about it now. If only I knew I'd be sat here now. But I think that's one of the things that I that held me back, but I didn't realize, you know, just how accommodating the program is. And when you're filled with that much support and feel like you're sat in a room filled with cheerleaders rooting you on, it becomes easier, so much easier to take control of your health. That's an interesting point because there, I know that you're going to talk to other people that you're reaching somebody else out there that's watching this video right now, who's thinking to themselves, I might be too sick for this. I don't have the energy to do this, but you're telling me that there's a way, I mean, you're able to do this. First of all, it's a remote program where you can do it laying flat down if you yeah. need to, you know, yeah. <laughs> whatever you need to accomplish. And there is that support system in so many different levels, right? From mm -hmm. Dr. Maggie to our functional nutritionist, to your pod that has your back and yeah. you reach out to it anytime and your pod leader. So um, interesting and really glad to hear that you were able to feel like this is something that you can accomplish. So I want to hear, how do you think that this all changed for you? What do you think was the key that you learned in the Transform program? And maybe it's more than one thing that really turned it all around for you. Wow. I think there's a multitude of things, but one thing for sure is blood sugar stabilization. Mm -hmm. Learning how to manage my blood sugar was the biggest change ever. And I, I truly believe that's what changed my life. Yeah. because it's the reason why I was collapsing mm -hmm. because my blood sugar was going way too high or way too low and I had no idea that that was the reason for for my collapsing but once I learned to be able to manage it it started to go away what was it exactly that you changed about your blood sugar balancing that made the difference for you well, before the program, I was terrified of food because I knew I was having such adverse reactions, um, but I didn't know why. I just became terrified of it. So I wasn't really eating at mm. all. Maybe one meal a day, if that, which obviously wasn't helping with my collapsing. No. Now I eat every two to three hours mm. and I eat fat, fiber and protein together. Mm. And that alone made the biggest difference for me you know I just seeing myself stop shaking one day and I was like oh that's weird and then the next day my heart wasn't going all over the place and I was like wait that's better and bit by bit it was like my body was repairing itself and I was getting out of this fight or flight zone that I was stuck in for years 
And so I'm hearing that you noticed a difference almost immediately upon changing the way that you eat and watching your blood sugar balancing. Uh, within a day or days, you started to see some of the symptoms dissipate. Yes, and, <laughs> and that was incredible in itself. And I also felt like, wow, how did I never know this before that such a big key factor of why I felt the way I felt was blood sugar. And I felt like it, it's really not talked about enough until I was on the program and it was like blood sugar, blood sugar, blood sugar, blood sugar. And I was like, aha, it all makes sense. <laughs> And she does, and blood sugar comes up so early in the program because it is such a crucial key piece to turn yeah. from many chronic health conditions. And yet you went to a doctor saying, I think I have a blood sugar problem. And they said to you, if you don't have diabetes, you don't have a blood sugar problem. And yeah. that's so wild to think about because it's, it can't just be the all or nothing. Well, if you don't have diabetes, you must be fine. Blood sugar and proper blood sugar stabilization plays such a dramatic role in overall health, but especially for you, somebody with POTS, such a gigantic key. What else do you think made a big difference in your health turnaround? Oh, an interesting one, I think for me personally, was the mindset work yeah. we were doing. Because I didn't realize how much I played a part in myself not getting better. But when I learned to shift my mindset to a different perspective, of starting to feel grateful for all the knowledge I was getting and how I was feeling and really focusing on the positives of tachycardia is a bit better today and this is a little bit better today. Then bit by bit, my mindset was start, started to shift from, oh my gosh, instant panic to, hold on a minute, I know what this is, it's actually okay. And, and was you're noticing those wins too. And you're like, okay, I am starting to get better. You went from somebody who thought, oh, I'll never get better yeah. to, wait, I am getting better. Mm -hmm. That was an amazing, amazing shift. Would you say your symptoms are entirely gone or are you still dealing with some here and there? I would say 90% gone. 90% gone. And this, and Dr. Maggie talks about this, you know, her program is just for a short period of time, but it launches you into a whole year of your health turning around. So mm -hmm. things are going to just continue, I'm sure, to get better and better, but um, to, to get 90% in such a short period of time. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, because that's amazing. <laughs> so I'm curious, what about the water challenge? Was that impactful for you? Because I know with POTS, sometimes you're told things about drinking water and staying hydrated. It was, it really was because I thought I drank enough water. I was so wrong. I, I was so wrong. When I actually started drinking the amount that I should have been drinking, I was like, oh, I never drink this much. But I started to see my skin clearing up. I started wow. to see my skin like glow more. I started to have increased energy levels and I was like, oh, this actually is really helping. And it also helped with that feeling that I had in the morning where my POTS was really bad first thing in the morning, where I'd be like really in shock mode. Amazing. So I'm curious, did you learn anything about nutrient deficiencies or food issues in the program? Yes, this one was amazing for me because I started I had the same kind of foods every day because I, I think I had like a fear of food mm -hmm. one working through that with the nutritionist Ali was amazing because I actually not only started to get over my fear of food I learned how to fall in love with food and actually have an experience with food again that I didn't have before that in itself was amazing but then when I got my allergy results back I realized I was eating everything I was extremely allergic to. Stop it, Sky. What was it? <laughs> bananas. <laughs> bananas. Oh my. And you were having bananas like every day? Two or three every day. Oh no. <laughs> and I was like completely on the scale, like off right at the end. Bananas, almond. I was having almond milk every day. All of the ones that were right at the end, I was having every day. And I thought, wow. No wonder I don't feel great. <laughs> no wonder, because it was putting your body into a sense of attack, attacking yeah. itself. And so you took those troublesome foods out of your diet and you started to also continue to see more and more improvement then? 
yeah and then I started to feel less bloated I wasn't having as much issues with my stomach and these were things that I just kind of dealt with for years and not really you know I was just like oh it's just the way it is but then those were the issues that I went I wasn't even coming into the program with and then they started to get better as well because I was taking out all the things that were putting such a strain on my body and yeah food was a massive one and yeah no bananas for me again I'm done no more bananas we love bananas but they don't love you back sky they don't. <laughs> that's okay there are plenty of other fruits out there that exactly. you can happily eat I'm sure I want to hear from your perspective who do you think could benefit from going through the transform program I think anyone that has an autoimmune disease or anyone that knows anyone that has an autoimmune disease you never know with your own health as well you are gonna learn so much no matter what position you're in whether you have an autoimmune disease or you don't and you're just trying to help someone else I guarantee there are still so many things that you will learn and you're thinking ah maybe that's why I feel that way even if you don't have one that was my that was gonna be my next question for you was could it just help anyone with any kind of chronic health condition or anyone who even just wants to improve their health? Oh, completely, completely. Because there are so many things in this program that are beneficial and it's not just about autoimmune disease. Anyone could be on this program and feel so much better by the end of it, not just about autoimmune disease. That's just people in general and about water intake and nutrition. That's everyone, you know, everything in this program would benefit anyone. Congratulations. What a dramatic life turnaround. Is there anything else you wanted to share with us that we haven't touched on? When I say I was ready to give up, I was in a position where I, I didn't want to live anymore because of how I felt. And now looking back at that person, I don't even recognize her anymore. And I just hope that other people that have POTS and autoimmune disease you know, if they see this or anything from Dr. Maggie's program, they can take that little bit of hope and put it back in themselves and hopefully not surrender to how they feel, but realize that it can be changed and it can be worked on. Sky, how emotional to really hear you sit with that and say, you know, I didn't know, I didn't know if I really wanted to live anymore. Yeah. I, uh, I actually told my mom as well. She knew. I said to her, I was like, I can't live like this. I don't want to live like this. And I said, you know, I'm sorry, mom. I don't, that's not something I want to tell you. But I, I don't know what to do anymore in the situation. You know, everyone's just telling me I can't get better. Mm -hmm. And I want to get better, you know, but I, I, I can't live like this. Yeah. And, you know, to, for my mom to be able to see the change in me where not only do I want to live, but I want to live to the fullest <laughs> and go out, you know, that that gave something back to her from the program. You know, she got her daughter back. From well, good job to your mom too, for not giving up also. And she was the one that that found this for you and sent it to you. So yes, she's, she's partially to thank here, really. Yeah, um, she, she's my hero <laughs> in the situation, honestly. I'm very, very lucky for her. People want to know, what is it like to work with Dr. Maggie? I just want to hear from you. What do you think about working with Dr. Maggie? <laughs> incredible incredible dr maggie has so much energy she really blesses you with so many answers and understanding and coaches you through it and doesn't make you feel like you're on this journey alone she's like nope sky come on let's do it and you know if i was going back to the oh i can't do it i can't do it she's like yeah you can snap out of it you got this come on and it's like having that cheerleader next to you that's also giving you answers about why you feel the way you do yeah, Dr. Maggie really is a blessing. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I'm so happy that you got your life back. You're living, you know, on your own still as a young woman, as you should be, and enjoying your dream career. Congratulations and continued good health to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It is emotional to hear Sky talk about how she didn't think she could go on living life like this. She didn't want to live. This had zapped her spirit, the medical gaslighting, and really just not knowing, am I ever going to be able to get better? Or is this what life is going to be like for the rest of my life? Here she is in her mid-20s and wondering, wow, I don't have this beautiful life ahead of me that I thought I should and would have. Well, happily for Skye, she does. She got that back. She's able to live on her own, have the dream job that she wants, go out with their friends, and plan vacations. 
<laughs> do the things that she loves to do. And even perhaps more importantly, spend precious time with her loved ones, time that is valuable. We never know how much we get with our loved ones. She's got it now and she's able to do the things she wants to do, care free, without collapsing, without her heart going crazy, beating fast or slow. She's feeling good. If you or somebody you know can relate to Sky's story, maybe just like her mom passed this video, that video along to her, maybe you're wanting to pass this video along to somebody else, or maybe it's you who can relate to this. Go ahead, get in touch with the Transform team. There's a link above or below this video to start a chat with the team. They can get you some more resources to send you on your way to hopefully finding answers and getting help. Or if you're somebody who thinks to themselves, I just want more help with turning around my health in general. I'm pretty healthy, but perhaps Dr. Maggie and the Transform program could help me live my life to the fullest. Get in touch. Um, also go ahead and like us on socials. Uh, go ahead and join the Transform Facebook page. Go ahead and like the YouTube page, befriend on Instagram and TikTok, all of them, because you can get resources on each different platform that hopefully will provide you with some information and some good knowledge to help you out, you or a loved one. On behalf of Dr. Maggie Yu and the whole Transform team, I'm Anna Manuel. Thanks for watching. Hi, and thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in actively looking for a solution to your problem and you'd like to work with us, I'm going to invite you to go ahead and click the link in the description to book a chat with our team. I and my team look forward to talking to you to learn more about you to see if we are indeed a good fit to work together. Thank you. Mm -hmm.